Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel. Today I am in Manville, Manville, Texas. Uh, remember, home inspectors drive, we drive everywhere. So uh, first thing, I am a little behind on my tool videos, uh, my tool review videos. EC's got sick and then Thanksgiving happened and so I'm still planning on uh, doing the tool videos where uh, I'm gonna test the shorts where they're non-slip on the roof. And then also I am going to test, uh, it's, it's like a ferret camera uh, for home inspectors to see if the tools are useful for us. But my main reason my, I'm in Manville is one of my inspectors lost their flashlight. So our flashlight of choice is this Phoenix PD40R 2.0, by the way. I used the first one, the original one, and uh, this is a flashlight I like to use because it's extremely bright and the battery lasts forever. Um, home inspectors, our number one tool is always the flashlight. You'll see some inspectors say, oh, I could buy with like a $40 flashlight. Yes, this one's like 140 bucks, but it's our most used tool. We're gonna use it everywhere. Just try not to use it on the 3000 lumen setting all the time. I use it on the setting right below uh, so it doesn't run out. That was a lot of kind of rambling. I hope all that made sense. So I'm gonna go check out this um, this home. We're gonna inspect this home real quick after I give this flashlight to my inspector. I am using my phone today, so I hope it works out. <laughs> I left my camera at the office. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, we're in the attic space and you can hear that behind me. If that's happening in your attic, should uh, probably check it out. Uh, what that is is a uh, blower that's off balance and a blower that's off balance will reduce the life expectancy of your HVAC unit. Pretty easy to service uh, and it's cheap to service at first, but if you let it go on forever like that, um, it will die pretty quickly. All right, so uh, that's find number one. Find number two is up here in the attic space. Um, Right here, people like to store things on top of their water heater. And uh, um, you don't wanna do this because this is actually produces heat. Uh, heat comes out the top of uh, your water heater and that can cause a fire. You know, it would take a really long time, but eventually um, you could have some issues down the line. So uh, don't store things on the top of your water heater. We're not gonna report that, I just move it uh, for the homeowner and the client's safety down the line. Okay, so the next spot is actually right here with the coils. This is not a bad thing, but on the outside, the coils are original. And then you can see right here, uh, these are from uh, manufacture date 2020. So these are brand new. So we just want to inform the client, the future buyer, that they have replaced the coils at one time and see if they can get a hold of any future warranties. Another thing too is whenever you have this, you know, the heavy vibration, I kind of moved it so it's not vibrating as much. But whenever you have that heavy vibration across your gas line, eventually it can cause a dent or a crack or a leak inside this corrugated line. So that can cause a gas leak and, you know, uh, something very dangerous down the line. So if you ever hear heavy vibration across your furnace, make sure that you check it out in your attic space. It can uh, prevent your home from burning down. Last thing in the attic space real quick, uh, you could see right here, you have some heavy staining around uh, this box fence. So I'm gonna get up on the roof and check out the roof. Uh, John said that the roof was in kind of questionable shape. We're obviously gonna need a roofer. So let's uh, check it out, see what condition it needs to be in for your inspector to recommend for a roofer down the line. Okay, so John left his ladder up here for me. I like the way he positioned it, but I'd probably get just a slightly bit more of an angle on it if you're not used to walking up ladders to get on the roof. But uh, here we go. So let's uh, walk up this ladder, check out this roof together real quick and uh, uh, see what we get today. He said that there was a lot of tar on the, uh, on the roof. So uh, overall, we just have some discoloration so far. We have uh, some slight granule loss. You can kind of catch it in the sun. So we got an original roof. Look like we might have some minor hail dinks here. 
So we want to make sure that we write that up. And oh, there you go. That's some of the tar that he's talking about right there. As a home inspector, we have to write up prior repairs. It's a state requirement. And whenever you have prior repairs, you almost, you know, you almost can guarantee that they've had some sort of leak in the past. And tar is a very temporary repair. All right, so the next area, he said that with this garage apartment here, he said that you could kind of tell that there was having a water runoff or drainage issue. And you can easily tell that right here, you can see how they have um, a tar line right down the seam in this valley. You definitely want to recommend for a roofer if you see anything like this. And then ob obviously, easy spot. And look, there's like even a, a hole, a dip right there. That's a lot of tar. <laughs> Woo! That's a, that's a butte right there. So um, as a home inspector for real estate purchase, whenever you see, you know, a lot of stuff like this, this is an easy uh, spot to do further evaluation. One more thing too, whenever as a home inspector, you know, we always recommend for further evaluation and it almost seems daunting even to the real estate agent on the side. You're like, yeah, your home inspector is going to find a lot of stuff and he's going to recommend for a lot of things to be further evaluated and get those technicians out. You definitely want to take the time and do it. I know a lot of things are moving really fast and you're making these decisions quick to change your lifestyle, move into a different home. But right there, if you get that HVAC serviced, and you know, get this roof service, you're talking, you know, these roof repairs, minimum $1,500. HVAC, minimum $300 to get a technician out there. Right there, just by us showing up, that's $1,800 that you can negotiate on or you can save yourself down the line because this puts such a big chunk uh, into your budget moving into a home. You know, sometimes you can, uh, having a $1,500 bill after you move in is pretty hectic. So make sure you just pause, take the time, listen to your home inspector so you can get these repairs done so it's less of a headache down the line. Okay, so let's talk about at the beginning of the video where I talked about the steepness of the ladder. So you can see how the angle of this could be actually pretty hard to climb up if you're not an experienced, uh, I guess, roof climber. <laughs> so a better angle makes it a little safer to get off the roof. I'm comfortable with this. I've walked hundreds of roofs, but you know, if you're not, I guess comfortability is dangerous too as well. So um, just make sure that you set your ladder up correctly so you can do this forever. Just gonna beat up on the inspector ladder setup one more time. Right back here, this would have been the best way, best spot to just put up your ladder too as well. Right in the back, low pitch, easy to get on, easy to get off. And say for whatever reason, you're a homeowner and you're trying to determine if you're gonna run into these roof repairs, always do a wide pass on the outside. And look, you can see this from the ground. So you can see the pitting, the heavy tar. So obviously they have some sort of roof leak that they temporarily repaired. So uh, easy find, easy find. And uh, just make sure you take the steps to look around your property before you put in an offer. You can uh, save you some headache down the line. Okay, so that is a short-ish type of video. Remember, we came out with a new t-shirt line. Uh, I bought a small and it kind of shrunk. I'll show you what it looked like <laughs> um, in the next podcast, I guess. Uh, I'll get a podcast after this video and then I'll get the tool videos out. Um, but yeah, I bought a small and it shrunk. So uh, the I don't think I can stop that. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, if you want to check our t-shirts, please go to homeiw.com. It helps out the YouTube channel. It helps out the podcast to keep it running. And uh, please always hit that like and subscribe button and check us out on the next property. See you guys. Bye.